So, Cowley versus Setmore. They both have free plans. The question is, after we go through this video, which one would you use? Which one would you pick for your business? So, let's pop over to the computer and we'll take a look at these two. All right. So right now what we're looking at is the pricing page for Setmore. Some of the things that jump out at me uh, with this is you have up to 200 appointments. So for a small business is just starting off. If you break that down into a four week month, you're looking at 50 appointments per week. And I think that's a pretty healthy number of appointments. Now, if you go over to the pricing structure on Calendly and you look at that, they have unlimited one to one meetings. So they're clearly going to be the winner when it comes to the number of actual meetings uh, as far as the free version is concerned. But if you come back over here and you look at the free version of Setmore, you can accept payments. Um, again, probably not a huge game changer if you go decide to go in and use Calendly, but you have to, in order to collect payments, you actually have to pay $10 per month. And that's per seat. All right. Which brings me to the next thing I want to point out with Setmore, you can have up to four users on the free plan. With Calendly, it's just one. You just have one user and that's it. Next thing that we want to look at the custom booking page, and I've said this in my other videos on Setmore, is pretty nice. There's there's one or two others out there that have booking pages that I would say are are nice booking pages, but for the most part, most calendar apps, the booking pages are not all that. And what I mean by that, let's just take a look and I'll show you. Here is the Setmore booking page. Okay, it looks kind of like a website. You can have different services on there, which we'll get into also. Um, little about us section and here you can also share reviews, uh, which is great. So you can collect reviews from your customers. Um, pretty nice little booking page. Now let's go over to the Calendly booking page. This is the Calendly booking page. And although Calendly, if you go into the pricing, it'll say you can customize this. Their idea of, count, of customizing is adding your logo, adding your name, you know, maybe adding this little stuff here. That's their idea of, of customizing this page. You know, again, this is a pretty standard calendar booking page. It's just uh, what I like is when you have a calendar app that kind of goes over and above and gives you a little bit more than a standard booking page. It's, you know, kind of like just blah. All right. So the other thing that you might have jumped out and noticed here is with the free version of Calendly, you can only have one event type. So I can only have PC troubleshooting or a one hour coaching or virus removal. I can't have any more than one of those. And that's it. But let's pop over to here. One of the things you'll notice with Setmore now is not only do I have like different categories here, I have services and you can change this to whatever you want. You could change that if you wanted to. But I have like here, I was playing around and I have a zip code deal here. And somebody could click on that and say, yeah, I live here. And then they could go and I need a sprinkler startup you know, or I need a sprinkler repair. Uh, this was set up for a sprinkler technician website that I was creating. This is still free version of Setmore. And then the other thing that we have here is maybe they don't need a sprinkler setup, but maybe they need one-on-one -on -one tech support. Again, I'm just kind of mixing things up here, but to make my point, now they can go in here and they can say, hey, I need a quick 15 minute meeting, or I need a quick 30 minute meeting. Again, these are all available on the free version of Setmore, along with three other team members. Right now it's just me, but I could have three other people here. All right. So that's the side by side of Setmore versus Calendly. And, you know, I think Calendly, when you start paying for it, it's going to have a lot more things that you can do with it as far as connecting it to different websites and what have you and different web platforms. But when you're looking at the free versions of these, I don't know about you. I'm thinking Setmore is going to blow Calendly away. So let me know what you think. Uh, which, uh, which one of these would you use in your business? Feel free to leave a comment and let me know what your thoughts are. If you'd like to see some more videos that I've done on Setmore versus the other calendar apps, we've got those right here as well. Thanks for watching.